The first issue of Rural Heritage in 2022 is on press right now, and it'll be in the mail soon, but there's still time for you to get your copy. As usual, this issue is brimming with stories about draft animals and small-scale family farming. Jennifer Morrissey takes us on the Bozeman Trail with accounts from original wagon train participants in the 19th century, as well as those retracing the trip in the 21st century. Lem Montero of Tillers International tells us about the work Tillers performs in third world countries, as well as here at home in the U.S. Sheila Oriski reports on the annual Boonville Plow Day, and Clayton Spencer describes what he's learned at the Wendell Berry Farming Program. We see some of the Teamsters and vintage farm equipment being used at last year's Idaho Hay Day, held at the AJ and Courtney Wollstonehulme Ranch. Ralph Rice explains how he's developed his farming program using a diversified livestock and crop approach that improves the pastures and fields and protects area woods and wetlands. Jennifer Morrissey continues her series on restorative agriculture with an article about weeds and how to control them. Dick Corteau writes about life on the rodeo circuit. Jerry Hicks relates how a batch of squirrel dumplings got rid of a freeloading guest, and Chiara Dowell tells us about harvesting steers on her family farm. Of course, we have the interesting and useful advertising our readers have come to rely on to learn about products, services, and associations serving the draft animal, farmer, and logger, as well as a calendar of events and the upcoming Rural Heritage on RFD TV schedule. There's also our mail order bookstore catalog pages and lots more. Order your copy by calling 877-647-2452 or visiting www.ruralheritage.com. A single issue costs $6.95 with free shipping. They're not available at newsstands. Or save 15% by subscribing and get six issues delivered to your mailbox each year. Just call 877-647-2452 or visit www.ruralheritage.com.